You thought I wasn't gonna see you. Oh, uh, well, little did you know. Who are you? So today we have pull. I'm pretty sure it's a four by four. No, three by four on deadlifts today. And then like a bunch of different accessories. I'm gonna take you guys through the pull workout because I haven't posted a pull day in like a long time. So <laughs> we're going to do that. Yeah, and I apologize for that. I mean, well, I did post deadlifts in the, uh, the Minnesota video, but that was like, you know, it was an exception. I didn't take you guys through anything. Just like literally raw, pure, just testosterone filled deadlift. It's like four o'clock ish right now. I'm probably gonna go to the gym at like five and I need to get more food in me because I didn't get that many calories in last night because I felt like shit. So we're gonna eat something now. So like I said in my last video, I, Andrew and I did have something super special that came in the mail, which we will be using today during deadlifts. I, this will be my first time actually using it, so I don't know like what its capabilities are, but I'm all decked out, dressed up and everything, ready to pull today, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so I just got here, and I'm literally parked about six years away from the entrance of the gym because there are so many people here. The entire parking lot is full. I don't think I'm even in a parking spot. I think I'm like probably in the dirt. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't, it, it's extremely busy, I guess, because um, all the resolutioners are here now. So maybe in the next like month or two, the gym will become vacant again. But dude, this is, oh my God, angry, very angry. I'm gonna take my pre-workout and arginine in the car today because I usually take it inside like while I'm warming up, but all the fucking boomers are gonna stare at me while I chug a powder down my throat, so I guess we're gonna we're just gonna have to do it in here. My fucking Well, anyways, uh, what I've been doing for the past like a week now, since uh I'm not that good with pre-workouts is I'm just taking one scoop of euphoria because I'm not fucking taking God of Rage. Oh, thinking about God of Rage makes me want to throw up. So, one scoop of this, two scoops of arginine, just because the pump. Actually, do you hear that? <coughs> I'm gonna take arginine after I deadlift because <clears throat> when I get too much blood flow in my lower back, it becomes really painful. So we're just gonna do one scoop of fucking this shit right now. I hate taking pre-workout. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. All right, being a fucking pussy, let's do it! Woo! I can literally smell each individual chemical. Chemical ingredient, I have goosebumps in my face. He's parked next to me, they're probably looking at me. Do I give a fuck? No. I also did not sleep that well last night. Oh my god, I just spilled it all. Hey, stop. I'm fucking retard. Didn't sleep that well last night. Didn't eat that much food. Am I gonna let that affect my performance? Yeah, probably. Alright. I spilled about 10% of that in my lap. Oof. I'm gonna let this kick in for like two seconds and we're going to go into the gym. Look at the fucking delt. Let's go. Like since it's brand new, the gnarling's kind of intense, so like it just rips it apart. But yeah, could have easily gotten four for the first set. Probably gonna move down to 455 because I'm dying right now. Adhesion building up all throughout here. It is so painful. 
And I still have one more set to do. So. I'm currently dying. for my last set. This is very, very, very inflamed. It hurts a lot. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna take you guys through the back workout, just a bunch of accessories. And this is the fun part. give that session a rating of one to meh to great that is a very solid meh so we went into today hopefully going to get an easy 495 for uh, a 4x4 four four or 3x4 and that was just not the case now for a few reasons that is a brand new Texas deadlift bar so my hands are absolutely destroyed right now um, the knurling is extremely sharp not as intense as the rogue Ohio deadlift bar which actually destroys my hands every single time I've used it but it's still pretty pretty intense so I need to like lotion and treat these uh, and the second reason was because I have that huge buildup in my leg and I don't know what it is um, I, I'm probably gonna have to take the week off of like deadlifting. I don't want to take off squatting um, and just hopefully like You know do some uh, active recovery at home and try and like I guess ease it out if it's, if it is an adhesion if anybody has used uh, Actually, I was thinking of getting a, um, a Theragun or like a massage gun if anybody has used those Please tell me in the comments like your experience with it if it actually helps because I know they're fucking expensive and there's like multiple different heads for it I'm pretty sure or attachments that you can use and if they work please tell me because I will definitely invest in one uh, after deadlifting I mean the rest of my accessories actually felt pretty good that's <laughs> I'm slowly transitioning away from powerlifting towards bodybuilding just because I keep getting injured like I have tendonitis all throughout my right bicep and I have like a bunch of paused bench that I have to do tomorrow probably like my my it's called bench clinic it's like five by one paused bench although I think it's different for tomorrow I'm gonna record that as well because I just love making videos so 
yeah, like I said, I actually felt pretty good for the rest of my accessories. It's just this, this thing right here needs to go away. Maybe I'll switch to conventional for like the accumulation phase, which is just like a shit ton of volume. I honestly, I'll talk to Elliot about it and I might, I'll probably split it up between um, beginning half of the week is sumo, end of the half is conventional or vice versa. Uh, I'll talk to him about it. Um, Cause I've just been doing a fuck ton of sumo deadlifting recently and you know, alongside squatting, of course I'm gonna have some adductor slash quad problems, so I'll fix that. Now I'm gonna take you guys really quickly through my post-workout meal that I've been having. I have been, I have cleaned up my, my food intake fucking tenfold recently and uh, it's actually helping a lot. My skin has gotten clearer and I just, like, I feel quality. What does that even mean? I feel, I feel good. <laughs> like, uh... Focus! Thank you. Wow, I yelled at it and it focused. Um, I have two chicken breasts right there. I think I just have to reheat them. Two of those right there. I don't know where my rice went. I think my brother ate it. Um, but I've been having rice and chicken. Chicken and rice, chicken and rice. Oh, that's all you need, chicken and rice. I've been having chicken and rice and, um, my recording style, so I don't know what I recorded last, but uh, chicken and rice, ramen, and a banana post workout for the last like week. Very good, I feel satiated. And I've also been having a lot of cereal. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Cereal is a big, bulking cheat code. Like, it's so easy to eat because it's like it's fucking cereal. Like, who doesn't like eating cereal? Um, but yeah, no more fucking six burgers a day unless I'm like really low on calories. I'll have a scoop of mass gainer if I haven't hit my calories uh, that day. I'm not really tracking, I just kind of like go up based on how I feel. Um, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say I'm on like 3.5 to 4K calories a day right now, which is actually like somewhat maintenance, if not a very, very small bulk. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to eat that and I will see you guys tomorrow when I record bench. Bye.